Cast head, we're going to use a, uh, a cast head that's sculpted uh, with the wattles on it, which is uh, going to solve a lot of the problems of splitting these wattles and, and uh, sculpting them and manipulating them so that they look fresh and supple. And so what that's going to require is, is uh, skinning around the edge of this. So we're just going to save the feathered area. We'll start back in here and just cut this skin loose right at the feather line. We're just going to carry it right around the wattles. This is one, one area that a, a pheasant, mounting a pheasant is actually quite easy, except for the fact of the face and the wattles. And I think this, this uh, sculpted pheasant head is going to alleviate the one miserable part of doing a pheasant. So a little bit of trick, it's just skinning around here, but if after you do it a couple times, you'll feel like a, a resident, the resident expert. Come all the way up in here around the nostril area, there's a little, little bit of feather patch there. Get carve up around this beak here on the top end. Up around the nostril. Just keep whittling away as you go around here. This is actually uh, come up around these nostrils. And back down the other side. Okay, once we've made that incision all around the bill, then we can peel this back and we'll, we'll trim the rest of the wattle off as we, uh, after we get it off of here. Okay, we're gonna just peel on back. We're almost off here. We'll just peel this back a ways and, and uh, remove the skin completely here. Almost there. We're gonna focus our attention to the, the tail here. We're going to make our incision right at the edge of the tail coverts, leaving the coverts, the upper coverts on the tail. On the bottom, on the other hand, we are going to, the undertail coverts, we are going to leave with the skin. And so we, we just take it right, right down next to the actual tail feathers itself. So just running my scalpel along the feathers, feather line, and scoring the skin there is going to get us to where we need to go here, I think. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Trimming all the way around as we go. And again, uh, I'm looking to uh, be cautious about trimming any of the covert feather butts off and loosening any of the feathers there. On the bottom, we just trim away as such. Now we can flip it over and work on the top. Right underneath the little oil gland, between the oil gland and the coverts. There we be, one removed tail. Now, we can clean this tail simply by flushing away from the feathers here and exposing the actual quills themselves. Focus our attention now on, on wiring the wings. Shave that down a little bit, but we still want to keep the length. I'm going to get dry this off in here pretty little bit. Still want to keep the overall length because that's going to get that's going to get our if we cut that off and we go to set this wing in there this bone can be that in there or if we if we compensate for that and make our attachment farther back where it's cut off then our then our fulcrum and our pivot point is going to be off so we want this thing remembering where that thing attached we want this thing to have the full 
anatomy that it had originally, and that's, uh, that's what having the full length offers us. So we're just going to grind some of the bulk of the sides of it away, keeping, keeping the, uh, the length intact. So. Okay, if this dried out, we can go ahead and select a wire, 13 gauge, okay. This is an annealed wire, so it's fairly soft. And uh, I do put a little bit of a point on it, just so that it finds its way down the center of that bone a little easier. And the other thing too is if you'll notice, this bone has a curvature to it. So if you put a similar curve in the wire, might find its way down there a little easier and we're going to just take it down the center where we put the clean it out with our pipe cleaner okay that's all the way in the bone and we'll bend it so it's up along the side of the bone here and at this point attach it with some electrician's tape all right now we can go um, we replace the meat muscle structure inside the radius and ulna, and we can do that simply with using some critter clay. And I do like to put a little along the back side. There's a material for fine grade toe to wrap this, and I'm gonna, I want this to be nice and smooth. Very nice and smooth. No, it needs to be uh, <coughs> nice, smooth transition around the corner here. And to secure that with a little thread. And we want to make sure that we get some on the back edge here. And around the smear it around so you don't have any large pockets of caulking. Pulling our wing down so that we have our tersals right under the situated over the elbow, and we're good to go. We're down to uh, getting the head on, which is really give this thing some real nice life to it. And then we'll just get some magic sculpt and blend in the trachea and esophagus on the bottom side. And we'll go ahead and commence to glue in his hair on. Well, we don't need much here, I don't think. Pretty well modeled in there already. The blunt end gets in the Blue, right there on the edge where we want it glued. The key to the super glue is that it's you put it on a li very little bits and it dries quite quickly. And the pointed end, you push it over and bring it into where you want it coming around the front. And we'll start in the center of this tail. And we'll just go down the line. Fanning it as we go. Now with this kind of thing we can do we can do whatever you want. You want to get a little flare to these guys on the end here. Like that. It's 
These are the tail, upper tail coverts. We're arranging them nice and smooth, so they're very nice and smooth. Using Master Blend to inject the feet. Okay, we're going to have to work quickly here. Oh, it's getting in there. I don't know where it all went, but most of it went in there. Try to make minimum amount of holes, one in each end, and if you have to get it up into here and it doesn't flow, I think a lot of it has already flowed up in there. Okay. We're there.